Hello, everybody. Welcome back for another day in the Magic Duels life of CGB. Covert Goat Blue here. And we are picking it up with our series we've kind of started here and that I'm really having a good time with. And that is Quest for the Best. If you haven't watched my other videos and you don't like spoilers, then you should go watch them first. This is the fourth one that I've done. We're currently sitting at five and one with Team Merge. The grand record that we're chasing is 12 and two. We play until we have two losses. Everybody gets one free loss, but at the second one, it's eliminated, and your record's your record. Team Merge's can move into second place over the Green Black Snakes deck with a win in this game, or uh, it can be eliminated with a loss. So we're picking it right up on the bubble. Emerge loses, we get a new deck, and we get a rank 39, and we're on the play. Let's see what we get. I can keep this. This looks fun. Yep, when last we picked up this deck, it was a heck of a game. We went against somebody who likes their planeswalkers absolutely irre irrefutable and recursioned with double Emeria Shepherd. And that's a bit bigger than this deck is willing to go. But, 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 but. We are not, uh, we are not usually the, the um, underdog in that situation. Usually our end game is pretty solid. Plus we have a tempo game. There's a lot of good things that can happen with this deck. And if you are also a follower of Nighthawk and his tournament deck, maybe, uh, maybe you already, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe you already know what's up. Mortivore, my boy. How you doing today? I guess I have to take this Pilgrim's Eye. We're gonna miss a land drop, but that Pilgrim's Eye can make sure we don't miss our next one. Pretty lame to only have two lands in our top 12 and to lose our Kiora. So our growth has been stagnated. Our opponent's showing team or colors. Could they be on a similar strategy? Has Nighthawk succeeded where I failed and made this a popular archetype? Oh. Hold on, we got white mana. We got four colors at least. Probably more Planeswalker decks. That's uh, Xbox rank 40 for show. And I think I'm gonna try to hit my next land instead of the Druid. I think I've gotta hit one here. Yep, and we do. All right, um, double red would be Chandra. Okay, there we go. Roll. Quick message from Gemini, BRB. Alright, just had a quick message to reply to. Hopefully that doesn't make the screen go the stream go crash, as it sometimes has. Since the update I haven't had that happen as often. Hopefully you guys uh, aren't seeing that either. Okay, so I've been talking this whole time, <laughs> and it looked like my mic wasn't on. Uh, something to get used to with this uh, new headset for sure. So if none of that audio recorded, you have my apologies, but I am here. It is Covert Go Blue. We're on the quest for the best, a little series I've started and rather enjoy. We're playing Team Merge. If you haven't seen the other videos, you're about to get spoiled. We're sitting at five and one. A win here puts a Team Merge in second place with the tough uh, goal of getting to 12 and two, which is currently held by Demir. Oh, it was on? That's weird. I checked my audio and I didn't hear anything. Now I feel like an idiot. But hey, you guys are with me for, through the good and the bad, right? When I sound like an idiot and when I act mildly intelligent, which is about my ceiling, I'd say. So my opponent is getting the ramp on. I don't love it. I don't love it. Bad things are gonna happen. You can just you can just feel it in the air when they have all this color and all this mana. Just like the last opponent we had, it feels like they're trying to go over the top, which is really not what our deck wants to see. So options. 
I feel like the play is this Nissa off this here Chandra, so we still hit our land drop this turn, and if we draw land next turn, we get to flip Chandra, or not flip Chandra, but uh, flip Nissa. But that at least gives us a board, and we'll see what our opponent can do about it. <laughs> I feel really silly. It's like I checked the audio, and I like didn't hear anything. I'm like, that's weird. And then I looked at chat, and nobody was talking back to me. <laughs> Now, uh, John the Flash, if you uh, scroll down, the deck list is up to date, and this is Team Merge that we are playing today. We're sitting on the 5 and the 1. Maybe you're on mobile. I, on mobile, I think you have to, like, swipe to the side and click uh, info. But And we are imprisoning Chandra in the moon. I mean, I guess that's a ramp spell, so I can't be too bummed. And a fox, what is our opponent up to, do you think? What do you suppose is going on? Rex Sage, I have to remember that a Rex Sage turns this back on. I've got to be on the lookout for it. I'm going to go ahead and take this damage. Not going to worry too much about being attacked by a rogue Rifina at this stage. I want my critters around to block. Hello, what's in my graveyard? Grapple. We'd just be getting a grapple back. I really want to hit my land drop. Can I do that? I think I can. If I can play this and then emerge it, yes I can. Yes I can. That'll flip my Nissa, which is awesome. Merge off you, get me back. Wow, three grapples in the graveyard. It's not really good for later. You really want those grapples available. I also like to grab usually all the blue I can get. Yeah, I have enough green. It lets me do things like double Deep Fiend when the time is right. Not going to attack with Pilgrim's Eye. Going to save potential blockers to defend Nissa here as she digs us into the deck. We're going to miss our regular land drop for the turn, but we've got a handful of stuff. Hopefully that's good enough. I would expect our opponent to have some removal or something. I mean, what is going on? Maybe some gear hulks are on the way? Suppression bonds. Yeah, okay. You guys got that. Sahelirai. Really likes his enchantments. We have two reclamation sages we can go find. We also have Ulamog that can get those off. Real question is, do I want to expertise and kill Sahelirai or do I not care? I mean, it's just Sahelirai. Hardly the end of the world. I think what I most want to do is get to a Reclamation Sage. What's the best way to do it? We've got a lot of Rogue Refiners. We could also just get on the beatdown plan. Well, no use defending these Planeswalkers right now. So we should be attacking. Then what do we have? We have 8 mana. We, we could play all 3 Rogue Refiners if we draw the ninth. Uh, before I go, though, let's, let's see. Do we want to give him info or do we want to draw? What would drawing do? It would change our plan if we draw Reclamation Sage, so let's try. <laughs> plan has changed. Um, all right. Chandra, I think, has more loyalty. But Nissa. But Chandra's a mana rock. Chandra also does direct damage to Sahelirai. And all that mana does stuff. Let's just... I'm gonna go for this one for this turn, and I'm gonna try to find a way to kill my Rogue Refiner so I can... or kill my uh, Reclamation Sage so I can do more later. Alright, Druid. Like we'll be sticking to two lands this turn. Grapple back my uh, Reclamation Sage is what I meant to say. All right, guys, get after Rai. Check her, check her before she wrecks herself. Okay, he wants to trade. That's fine, because we can grapple that back. Then we can emerge it off, ro off the uh, Reclamation Sage. But for this turn, I'll play you. Since we're missing our land drop, we want to keep the mana coming. We have so many spells. And let's see. It's about time our opponent did something. 
like something big. They've been just making a lot of little value plays with all this multicolored mana, and they've been playing some enchantments. Maybe this is an Amiria Shepherd deck. The enchantments would signal like kind of a permanent theme, along with a Johnny. Oh, that's probably what we're looking at. Another Amiria Shepherd deck. That's a pain in the butt, but it's okay. Uh, five color. Yeah, can we can we find that sixth color? And we have a heart of Kieran, so opponent is feeling it. Interesting. He's not gonna throw heart of Kieran at Nissa, or is he? He still can. No, it's got summoning sickness. He could have activated it and copied it and sacked the real one. That would have been horrible. I would have really enjoyed it. <laughs> All right. Hello, Moggy. What do I need? One land? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need a land off the top. Hit me. <laughs> Fail. Um, not completely, though. Barals can bounce that, that, and that. He also could have Sahili Ride and, um copied Ishkana and made more spiders, but he did not. What am I supposed to do? Bounce all his things? I don't know if Brawls gets a lot better. Or if I'm just supposed to have another big setup turn. That Heart of Kirin is a pain. I think we have to we have to get that out of the way. But then what? This is complicated. Why you gotta go and make things so complicated? All right, I don't think I'm gonna attack. I think I'm just gonna D up. We're gonna have fun. I've got solutions to spiders for later. All right. Three mana. Alrighty, let's see what else our opponent can do. We're just gonna bounce setup turns off each other. I have so much gas, I just need to keep the battlefield current churning. <laughs> By the way, Nighthawk in chat. Welcome. If you don't already know the outcome of his match, you're about to get spoiled, so cover your precious ears. Nighthawk, I'm so so happy for you. I'm so proud of you. And it's mostly because I know that Jolly is very good. He wouldn't be a good villain if he weren't. But when when a underdog kind of David defeats a Goliath, which, let's be honest, you know, I don't think you would deny that kind of uh, position in this match. It, but when, uh, when, uh, when Goliath is toppled, there is always love. The people always have much love. And uh, I am feeling all the happy feels for you. <laughs> it is quite sincerely, very, quite sincerely. I am, uh, I'm really, really happy for you. So, congrats. And I look forward, no matter what happens in the next round, thank you for taking us on this wild ride with this wild frickin' deck. <laughs> uh, anyway, I hope he was around to hear all that. If he wasn't, Maybe he'll hear it later. All right, now what? My opponent had a nice turn. Chandra into Sahili's artistry. It's probably gonna be Ka's return time to clean all this up. I, I can't think of anything else that'll do it. So, Cause Return will take out the Refiner. <laughs> well, people fail to draw lands all the time. It's just kind of a... Uh, in, in many ways, it's Magic 101. Okay, so we're going to sweep up all this noise. We need to tap the Heart of Curin in the island, I guess? Wait, I can play you? Exiles, walkers. Hmm. 
This is this is tough. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five. No, nope, not good enough. Yeah, we'll just we'll just dewalkerize him. And see if he has a Sahili's artistry for this. If he does, that's fine. We've got this. <laughs> he did have turn two Copter Heart in all three games. Yeah, there should be no sympathy. You're supposed to do that in, what, 40% of games? He went three for three? No sympathy, bro. Nah. <laughs> Although, <laughs> seriously, I think... I think that the um, I don't think I've laughed much harder in a tournament setting than when you went on your little uh, rant about the mind games with the Aether Hub. <laughs> that might have been among the funniest things. And then when he misplayed, just your cackling—it <laughs> was spectacular. I really I, I was very entertained. That's that's the amazing thing, right? I can I can play tense magic, right? I can I can get really intense about playing this game in those tournaments you somehow still have fun <laughs> like i get i get way into it i try very hard but you have a you you try hard and have a good time i'm i'm kind of jelly not gonna lie all right so heart's gotta go You're out, you're out, and you're out. That's so that I can play Kozilek's return. There we go. Sweep that up. I've never seen a misclick go so wrong. Whew. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Um, he doesn't have white open, which makes me believe I'm okay here. I really want the mana. So hopefully this works out. It's a little risky if he has a removal of any kind, but I think he would have played it in the past. I've given a lot of opportunities. And we want to leave up double blue, so this works. All right. <laughs> Hand of Rogue Refiners. It is so hard not to cast these. You always want to know what your mystery card is. Ishkana's back. Knew that was coming. And Big Nissy. Oh boy. Alright, so we can tap down all his shenanigans and eat the land if he attacks. Let's see what uh, the Rhinoceros Slumps does. It's funny, because I'm trying to say really nice things to a uh, hawk here. But, but, we do have a pretty intense game going. Alright, perfect. He's going to regret that. <laughs> we might even get the concession. I don't know if there's much he could do different, though. Pulse! <laughs> hey, it's your favorite spell in the game! It's your favorite, 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 favorite play of all magic history. <laughs> Good old Pulse of Marasa off Treasure Keeper. I also like pr Pulse off Brawls, but there's nothing quite like the out of nowhere Pulse off Treasure Keeper. This is such a weird hand. When do you ever just have three Rogue Refiners sitting in your hand? It's such an awesome card. Wow. Just drawn gas, gas, and more gas this game. All right. Nighthawk says the biggest problem with Team Merge is you always want to emerge off Treasure Keeper, even if it's not right, because it's exciting. Yep. It's like opening the mystery box. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, one druid can go? Okay. Sounds like a plan. I think it's because Nighthawk is a very greedy player. <laughs> when he sent you that message, that was the real psychological battle. 
<laughs> he goes for max value all the time when tempo might be better. Um, you're definitely, it's definitely true, Jay, that Nighthawk has that tendency, but you gotta applaud him. There have been times in this tournament where he, he found his uh, inner tempo uh, warrior, I think. I was very impressed on a few occasions that he saw the saw the line to go for the um, tempo race you when he didn't necessarily have to. It could definitely be a control player instinct to turtle up at times in this event. So, just a little credit where I think it's due. Hello, Nahiri. Nahiri is here, everyone. Oh, the Planeswalker package to go with the copy everything Sahili's artistry package. How about this, Nahiri? How you doing? Just drew too much gas. Well, we did get almost all the way through our deck. We've only got 19 cards left in the deck. Most of them are likely lands. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All, yeah, Nighthawk. Uh, also uh, forgetting to play Chandra to tempo them out, but I, I can't really let you live that down because it was just, it was, it was too awesome. <laughs> I was screaming at the, I was screaming at my monitor, so I'll never forget that play. Sorry, you're stuck with that one for life. All right, our opponent has one blocker in Heart of Curin. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, sixteen, seventeen, and f one. One, two, three, four. Math is hard. Okay, I got this. I guess he can activate Heart, then activate Harvester. So I should have got Deep Fiend. Yeah, he still has a line to live. That was a mistake. So what can I do? Probably nothing. Uh, I can emerge off the... <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to run out of mana, though. That won't do it. Yeah, should have done the Deep Fiend thing. My bad. Magic is hard. All right. Um... See if he wants to chalk up his Harvester here. When math is hard, turn everything sideways and hope for the best. Well, I can't I can't subscribe to that. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> Alright, so get back. I think we have the man to pulse. Yeah, we do. Man still do not need to use cause to return. And leave blue up, please. Deep Fiend. Your move. <laughs> no untapped creatures, even though Nahiri couldn't hit something anyway. Ishkana Flame Shadow Anointed Procession. Now Salmon of Knowledge is thinking big. <laughs> Part the Water Veil. Yeah? Okay. You have resolved this. <laughs> Nahiri will go up a little bit. So, we gave our opponent an inch. Let's see if they can take it a mile. This is actually a pretty darn complicated game. Um, yeah, I don't want to spike the Deep Fiend on this. We're at 38. Uh, he's going to attack Nissa, though, I'm sure. Nissa's got to go. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. We can, uh, we can Deep Fiend it next turn if we want. Still think we'll be all right though. He's off the top. Let's see what he gets. What an interesting deck, right? This is certainly a collection of the, all the mythics I like kind of deck. I wonder what the wastes are for. There's probably like one thought knot in there or something. 
Posa like the Great Distortion? That's probably it. He drew a long tusk cub. I don't think that will save him. One, two, three. Let's see, we can kind of nuke the board. I think it's time. I think it's time. All right. So he doesn't have the energy to pump that. He has the 166 land that we can tap. Then we attack for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 8 is 13, plus Fumeral is lethal. All right, so you are getting tapped, and I guess some land. Oh wait, the Vexing Scuttlers won't survive this. Oh well, I still think it's right. I think it's time to get all that out of the way. But I certainly feel like I made this game a lot longer and harder than I had to, and it's not quite over, but I think it is. I think, think it's okay. I'm gonna remove that since I can't kill him, because I screwed that up. Going to... Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 8, and 4. Okay, we got enough. So we're gonna go pay 8 get back Rawl's expertise. Rawl's expertise, you, you, and you. And put you into play. Hopefully if he does have Koza like the Great Distortion in there somewhere, he doesn't have a bunch of eight drops to counter my stuff. <laughs> Let's let's cross our fingers that he's not just chock full of eight drops. <laughs> Alright, multiform wonder off the top. Alright, Nissa go up. Probably all land here on the bottom, considering we didn't draw that much throughout the game. Treasure Keeper, I probably don't even want to emerge it. I think I just want to use it. Get back for Rawls. Play for Rawls. You. You. Finish. Put you out. Have Deep Fiend up. And get in there. Giving my opponent top decks with that much mana and that ridiculous of a deck, who knows what we're getting ourselves into. <laughs> yes. Okay, then. That's what we're getting into. That's a really good draw. <laughs> like, stupid good draw. We're just going to have to fight our way through four Thopters. Um, one, two, three. Four, five, six. Nope, not lethal. I do think I just want to keep that on the battlefield. Can I get back? <laughs> Decking is his wing con. It's true. It's true. I gotta do this right. Probably just gonna get back another deep fiend. So let's go ahead and emerge. Oh, should have tapped the land, but it doesn't matter. We gotta keep that wonder from hitting. At least until we run him out of... Oh, bingo. Yeah, that'll do. Um, let's go for the Chandra emblem. We can keep that thing tapped down as long as we need to with, uh, Deep Fiend circles. And let's probably make a 4-4 four four here. Alright, um... And we'll probably use mana. So, can I clear the road at instant speed? I can. I can get back a Deep Fiend. So, let's go with this. Yeah. 
And this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I think I win this. I think I can win off this. All right. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, eleven. Jesus, really? Eleven? One, two, three, four. Okay, I've got the mana to do this, and I got the energy, so screw it. That should be twelve. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Continue. Attack. Da -da 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 -da. Charge. So what he has to do is make three thopters. And try to go to blocks and then when I play deep fiend he has to make the last doctor let's see if he can let's see if he does it he's played pretty tight but no he put out all the energy so he missed that one probably wouldn't matter probably wouldn't matter the only other thing what I could have done better is I could have played the pulse at instant speed to get the deep fiend back if he maybe didn't see what was coming. Ah, but there we go. Oh man, my head hurts. <laughs> Will you stream on April 26th when Amonkhet is out? I think that's highly likely. Um, yep, I think that is highly likely. It would take something of ridiculous catastrophic consequence to keep me away. I'll, I'll certainly plan to do the release party as I've done for the last several uh, releases. God, that was all for one win. I'm going to be totally exhausted trying to get this thing to 12 and 2. But now we're at 6 and 1. I'm going to mute this briefly uh, as soon as I hit the search for another game. I'm going to go to get a beverage and come back. Mortivore says it was a quality opponent. I agree. With an interesting deck that you don't see every day, so definite kudos there. Uh, your head hurts because your deck avatar is Emrakul. I don't hear a ringing. <laughs> um, God, I have to draw a green source. I have to draw a green source, but I think I would... Mm, no. No. Oh, now I just have to draw any freaking land. But hopefully we don't go down like this. Not like this, you guys. Not like this. Regardless of whether we win this game or not, we've moved into second place. And uh, Nighthawk, you'll be happy to know, the deck that we just passed in third place was Dead Roma's Snakes deck. So, already, you won the finals. Your deck has a better record on the CGB search uh, quest, the CGB quest for the best series than Dead Roma's. So you you kind of already won. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> Thanks for ruining the tournament. Nah, the decks didn't play each other, and besides, the series is not sanctioned as anything. So my opponent's coming out Mardu. And we drew that land like a boss. Tell Roma to concede for to, for tomorrow. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> All right, hidden stockpile Mardu. It's on. Um, yeah, we'll take the safe way. Make sure we hit our land drop here. Gotta hit these land drops from here on out. We gotta make land drops happen. Cause we've got spells. We got action.
Grapple and pulse is kind of exciting. I wonder if I'm supposed to block here and grapple back my pilgrim sigh. Probably not. Sounds too bad. We got planeswalkers to defend. Do yo, but uh, we're off to the. We're okay. We drew the land. We top decked like a boss. Now we just gotta. Well, we don't have tempo on our opponent. They've got the upper hand. We just gotta compete. Excuse me. I don't know why our opponent did not attack first. I would have really recommended that. And he's basically getting a scry out of the deal. Yeah, it's fine. It's not the best, not the worst. We are going to be taking a virtual three every turn from this gal. So, what do we do? This is actually pretty tough. I'm tempted to grapple and druid. Anything else might hit a... Like, what I really need off the top are more lands. This gives me the best chance to hit a land by showing me three cards. And even if I miss, I have a druid play. If I play Treasure Keeper, that's my whole turn. And it doesn't do that much for the board itself, because this thing basically reduces the impact of this card. We have to go big. We have to get our emergy stuff. We have to get some Planeswalkers. We'd love to find Kozilek's Return or Chandra. So I think the right play is Grapple. Trying to hit land drops and get upstairs, and we miss. But we did hit a Kozilex return for the graveyard. And Big Chandra. Well, guys, there you have it. <laughs> there you have it. I've got to be careful. I'm, I, I, like, I said I wanted a land, but then the deck was listening, and it heard me mention Kozilex return and Big Chandra. And it said, okay, we'll move those to the top for him. And then I grappled. You gotta ask the deck in the right order. I'm supposed to say we need to find Big Chandra and Kozilek someday, but right now we need a land. And then, uh, you know, the Siri that lives in the heart of the cards would have more respect for my wishes. Oh boy, it's an act of treason stockpile deck. Oh boy. Oh no. This just added a whole new dimension to the Ulamog side of the game. <laughs> and our treasure keepers. Oh my god, do I play treasure keeper against this? Can I play treasure keeper against this? Oh no. This is trouble. I smell T-R-O-U-B-L-E. Um, I'm going to go ahead and trade off. He's going to get revolt this turn anyway, thanks to the stockpile. Sacking the druid, so it's as good a turn of, as any to do this. Oh boy. Well, three lands in the top 14. Let's hope that trend reverses here. And let's try to get... We need some draws. Our opponent's got that scry action. They can just put a million of these uh, sack effects on top of the deck. Oh man. I really don't even want to put Treasure Keeper out against him. All right, let's f try to find a land again. Same thing as last turn. Land, please. Yeah, okay. Ulamog goes to the yard. I think that we also milled Baral's expertise. Yeah, that's hefty graveyard. Um, hmm. One more time, please. I gotta make sure I know what's going on. All right. Uh, let's refine something. See if he has an act of treason for this. Maybe we can run him out of those effects and make it safe for a treasure keeper in our life. Hello, Nissa. And this is something to just distract him from beating us down. <sighs> what else does this do right now? Not much. I mean, I guess it gets back Chandra. That's probably a big deal. And I'll also find a reclamation sage for that hidden stockpile. Because if he doesn't have a sack outlet, his stuff isn't as threatening. But we really want to find some deep fiends. Alright, so I'm going to deny him revolt and take four. Is that good? Yeah, I think so. Because am I going to get rid of that thing? I do need something to emerge off of if I draw it. See, we got five mana, pulse druid. I don't know. I think we take it for now. Stealing a druid from of the cow from a mana screwed opponent. Opponent has no morals. Yeah, I agree. I agree. This is truly a reckless human. 
Gets his scry, gets his trigger. Right. Eora. That generates a lot of mana. Still can't just draw land. It's so weird. Okay. Um, yeah. I think we just need to generate some mana. Okay. I don't think Pulse is the play. I don't really love my graveyard. Yep, need more mana sources. Pulse will be the play. It won't be long. It won't be long. But the Druids at least can match up with the Servos and stop the Servo Parade. Hopefully Kiora distracts the Emissary a little. Thopter Engineer, huh? And Thopters get the bonus from the frickin' Tinkerer. We need an Eldrazi in our life. We need one of our five Emerge Eldrazi. Let's see if he goes for Kiora. He does. That's good. That is good. Save our life total. We have Pulse for our life total, but we don't want to cast it right now. We don't have a great graveyard for it. Like, what would I get? Pilgrim's Eye? Uh-huh. Down to one. But we have a lot of mana for next turn, and I think it's going to be used to get use Vital Force to get back Chandra? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can play Pulse and Vital Force. Nine if we want to tap the land we animate. Or no, not if we get something back. All right, so now he's got his army going. Interesting. Are you supposed to kill our trinketer friend? Is that the play? What a weird draw this has been. Ah, uh, Chandra, make four mana. Untap, untap, play, get other Chandra. Oh my goodness. Okay, sure. Guess we can try that. Hello. <laughs> if a god is already attacking, it continues to attack because it never ceases being a creature like the gods from the last cycle kind of did. All right, Gatewatch assemble. And hi. Thanks for stopping by. <clears throat> Alright, let's see if he can kill me. <laughs> Down a nine. He might be able to kill me. Six. Seven. Nope, not quite. <laughs> Not fucking quite. Down to one, probably. We'll see if he has something else. Oh wait, those get haste. Never mind. I forgot the engineer. I'm dead. I'm dead to that motley crew. Yep, yep, dead to that. And four lands in the top 21. So, you know, whatever. It happens. I did not expect this deck to go all that far. It's not a great ladder deck. Well, could my opponent screw up their attack that bad? Is it possible? Is it possible? Dude hates planeswalkers too much. Dude, what are you doing? What you up to? Okay. Great. What you doing? 
Okay. Huh? Okay. Let's see. We double block the engineer. He kills the rogue refiner that's going to die anyway. And the engineer dies. That has the most toughness, so it would save me a point of Chandra. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't have a shock for the druid, and then I'd have to draw land. That would be bad. All right, opponent. My opponent uh, saw three um, planeswalkers on the battlefield and s decided he was going to see red. <laughs> Bait walkers did their work. They did indeed. They did indeed do their work. But now we're going to get in trouble. Uh, killing that engineer is good. It lets me save my druids. Otherwise, they were going to die in the Chandra Flames if I had to go up to three. Now I can do this for two, and all his stuff dies because the angel is holding up his, uh, is propping him up. All right. Like we always do at this time, I go for mine. I got to shine. Now throw your hands up in the sky. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm going to leave that back for some kind of a hasty thing a majig. Got to watch out for act of treason, though. Our opponent could still have that kind of shenanigan up his sleeve. He's definitely some kind of a steel and sack masterpiece going on. Is Pulse looking any better? Ogre finer, I guess. Or could still get Pilgrim's Eye. I really wanted an Eldrazi. I really, really wanted a Deep Fiend. Nope. Yet. So what's Chandra gonna do? I think we throw tokens at his face. I let's say Jay says, why didn't they do my? Uh, he even knew what you had in that hand that you had that in hand oh yeah the chandra yeah he did know that the chandra is in my hand why did the do my flawless strat i don't know <laughs> um nighthawk says that was some of the biggest tunnel vision i've ever seen yeah he really could have just killed me but let that be a lesson to all of you uh, magic players out there sometimes it's right to just kill the opponent i think we're just gonna double deploy here like I said, there's still nothing I'm excited about pulsing yet. And my opponent's play last turn tells me that they're sitting on some blanks over there. They may have an artifact removal spell, but that would be fine. Because, you know, treasure keeper. Hey, what did I say? What more can I say? Yep, cast that spell. Yes. <laughs> Not that it's a particular big hit right now. What I really want is one of the five emerging Eldrazi. But, okay. We can wait. How uh, Let's see, I'm still two off of casting Ulamog. Hey. I guess I finally asked with the correct language. Alright. Do this. Gonna leave... The druid's back. Just for the defense, and I might need the mana. Where's Bolus? Yeah, that should be a hashtag or something, right? Where the hell is Bolus? Um, Jay, your opponent's play the turn before means that they have blanks in their head, actually. Not just their hand. Yeah. I'm not trying to, den to deny it, but that is a way to put it. Okay, battle at the bridge. Opponents going ham on battle. What's it gonna target? Gonna target the treasure keeper. I am going to deny him the life gain and sack the treasure keeper. And tap his things. Might as well deny him the life gain. This is also a lethal uh, threat now. Oh, 
Yes, why not? Hitting Reclamation Sage when there's something you want to kill feels good. Kozlek's return? I guess not. No thank you. Wow, good job. It took four Planeswalkers, three to run a uh, Mana Ramp Decoy, and one to wipe the field, but it looks like Team Urge will survive. And live to fight another day. Everybody in. Everybody into the pool. All right. Moving on up. You're moving on now. We're moving on up. Nothing can stop us. Seven and one is the mark. We are sitting on seven and one. We are on the bubble. Any loss, whether it's from uh, mulligan to four, or drawing like absurdly bad cards all in a row, doesn't matter. Any loss and team merge is out of the running. And we'll have the sad, what I'm sure will be tear jerking deck deletion sequence. Jay Sank says that row, meaning throwing the game. Sorry, Nighthawk. <laughs> In reference, of course, to game two and Nighthawk's battle with Jolly. Ah, <laughs> oh, sick burns, dog. I guess I can keep this. It's risky, but you have to assume that Rogue Refiner will guess another blue. Any upgrades come incoming for Team Urge? Great question. Um, I like talking that kind of stuff. Let me let me pull up my magic board. Let's 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 look at the Amonkhet board. This is not updated with today's spoilers. Is there anything that just yells Team Urge to me? There might be a version with a cryptic serpent that would be pretty funny, but I doubt it. To be to be perfectly honest, I don't think that's right for the deck um mm -mm. not maybe heaven and earth as could go into the deck that could be pretty exciting I, it shores up some of the problems i think and being able to set your sweeper oh god it's two green creatures in a row my life is over uh pro a manglehorn might make its way into the deck uh obviously i want to try the new nissa and see if that's good that's uh, probably a big one. I'm also curious if that Shifet monitor is any good. And there might be room for a Dissenter's Deliverance. Honestly, it's not overwhelming for Team Urge. I don't know if that any of those cards provide a big improvement here. New Nissa is probably the most exciting thing on that list. Alright, we'll see if our opponent can have a third turn here with a perfect curve on the play. And if we just have the most imperfect curve of all time on the draw. Turn turn two, do nothing. Not where you want to be. And flipping his wolf. Very, very bad. Let's see if he's got like, you know, three two drops. Something of that disgusting nature. Is Manglehorn better than Rex Sage? Well, it's different. It's a different card than Rex Sage. So there's always times where it will be better. Is it better all the time? Absolutely not. But it very well may be better enough of the time that you want to play it either with or instead of Rex Sage. Honestly, like a lot of the artifact hate in this set is so directed at artifacts that a lot of them don't say artifact or enchantment like so many of the uh, disenchant type cards from the past or naturalize if you're not as old as me um, that it does almost seem like they want you to make a choice uh, they didn't want to hate on enchantments they just wanted to hate on artifacts that's interesting and that may affect how we how we want to do things it may make tutelage better so that it's not picking up hate from all these rex sages 
that have been lying around. What does it say? Whenever you put a plus one plus one counter on a permanent under your control, put a counter on it. Okay. Staying alive. We've got one blue and one red. We need to draw another of each to be competitive. But if we do, we might be okay. He's going to spend his turn on that. That makes me happy. Probably take a tireless tracker. Jim and I wants to test a Jun deck. I think it's pretty late in the season for testing. I told him I'd do it later, but uh, I'm really... Like, this Team Urge deck has me on my toes right now, so I want to keep playing. So, do we block? He's probably going to pump it, but we don't have another blue for this anyway, so the odds are that we're playing this next turn no matter what, so I'm going to block. And, okay. No pump spell. So, just a trade. Uh, somebody doesn't like the idea of tutelage being better. Uh, Encyclico... I'll just say Bell. Bell doesn't like this idea. He says, oh no, not tutelage. His hands are on his head. He is sad. All right, he or she, but I, I, I know my demographics. I'm 99.9% .9 male viewership. <laughs> so when I say he to a viewer, you can always correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm going off statistics. <laughs> I'll only be right like one out of a thousand times. <laughs> Or it'd be wrong one out of a thousand times. Okay, right into Bellower we go. That's a problem. <laughs> That's not good. What's he going to pick for his uh, companion? We've got so many problems. 99 problems, but Baral's ain't one. And we get to go Baral's into Chandra. Chandra won't kill the Bellower, but we... Need to do something with it. What can we do? Mm. Well, I can trade right here. There we go. That's something. Maybe I was supposed to Deep Fiend. Ooh, I was supposed to save the Refiner there. And then I could Deep Fiend. Oof. Ugh, I may regret that. That may be a pretty big misplay. Uh, how about Vital Force making a 5-5? What's that do? Well, it distracts him. It does distract him. Right now, the Brawl's expertise isn't very good. He has five lands, he, but if he draws any other, and we can assume all his lands are forests, he just rebellowers. No big deal. Chandra can't deal with it. Uh, Brawl's also gets no value. However, if I throw down Nissa and make a 5-5, five five, he has a pretty tough choice to make, and hopefully he doesn't have something like a fight spell, but if he had that, I think we would have seen it to go over one of these rogue refiners instead of trading. So I think I like putting Nyssa in the way. And I'm not going to risk this land. I'm going to risk a forest. Again, it might just distract him. It might just totally distract him from killing me. It worked last time. It worked the last game for sure. And if he throws everything at Nyssa, I want I probably want to try blocking the Bellower. But I don't have to. Okay, he's got a Tusker. Well now I can't chump the Bellower. And now bouncing everything looks a lot better. And he didn't hit his land drop, so that tells me a lot about his hand. What's he gonna do? Hmm, goes face. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna use my land to save some life here. I've got a plan. May or may not be the best plan I've ever had. But it constitutes a plan. Nighthawk says, I think it's right to go for the walker if I were him. I also think that Nyssa is a pretty big deal. Um, 
She's like, uh, I'm kind of a big deal. Um, all right. What we're gonna do, minus Nissa, get a refiner back. And brawls. You, you, you. And play the refiner. He did not hit his land drop next turn. I'm hoping that'll buy us a little bit of time. A little bit of a reprieve from his woodland bellower. And trust me, I do hate, like, that, I mean, it might have just been better to untap a land and have a 5-5 five five instead of refiner, but I felt like, I just felt like I needed some velocity. Maybe it was too much to trade, but, I don't know, I don't hate it that much. I could have an untap 5-5 five five right now instead of a rogue refiner and a treasure keeper in my hand, and Nissa could be on 7 loyalty, maybe that is better. So... Maybe it was just better to do the no-value expertise. And we do get a reprieve. We get a reprieve from the Woodland Bellower. So it might be right now to just start throwing Chandra tokens at him? He's going face. Okay. Now my opponent's a little crazy. I'm going to take it. I do wonder if there's a Decimator of Provinces emerge situation brewing. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, one, two, and three with the untapped land. I could also nuke his board. Well, our board, but with a treasure keeper out, it's not actually nuked, is it? <sighs> okay. Leave me my blue. There we go. Like that, y'all. Keeper to keeper. What's up, bro? <clears throat> and we're just gonna sit. See what our opponent wants to do. Probably play Tusker, which is what I'm expecting him to do. But we can then tap him down pretty authoritatively and attack for uh, attack for 22. We can attack for 22 if he taps out for Tusker. No, I'm wrong. Because I have to emerge. Well, it depends. If we hit a creature off Treasure Keeper, we're good. If we hit a creature off Treasure Keeper, we are good. Westville Abbey is not... The, not, not the most fun I've ever seen in a card. This long pause might be doing pig math. And what I mean there is Decimator of the Provinces. The games have not been easy today. Hell no, they have not. But that's okay. They're not all supposed to be easy. Let's see if our opponent has a Reclamation Sage. Something like that to mess with us. That would sort of screw up our plans. But then what would we do? We'd tap everything but Treasure Keeper, I guess? No. I don't know. Alright, they've got another another visionary isn't scary. Let's see if they want to attack. Please attack with something. I need you to attack with one freaking thing. Just one thing. Yes! Yes! Perfect. No? Okay. <laughs> Alright. That's okay. We'll do it the hard way. Um... Guess I'll leave the 2 2. No, I can block the refiner. There we go. Alright. <laughs> Let's see what we hit. We hit a druid. I mean, that's a critter. So we almost had the lethal. So close. Now, what's the right play, right? This is gonna get. This, this turn's gonna be complicated. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. 
kind of have to go and make things so complicated. Hank. Alright. Figure this. Come on. Figure this out. Uh, yeah. If he didn't have this blocker, I could just Chandra him for 20. But he does. But he does. What's the right thing to do? Don't if I'm gonna lose my Rogue Refinder and my Chandra, well, okay. Am I supposed to blow up his Treasure Keeper just so I can kill the leftovers? I don't know. He's gonna play Tusker. We don't want his stuff getting bigger. It's really tough. in the graveyard I can get back not no <clears throat> I really do want to tap him down again but I don't have a way to kill my own guy okay we'll have the mana to cozy instant speed if we need it so let's play you make my tokens attack with those and you. Okay. That's good. That keeps him from flipping Abby, which was one of my concerns. That would make me have to play my, um... Come on. It would make me have to play this Kozilex return uh, on my turn if he if he untapped with Abby available, as I would just be dead to it since I'm at nine, and I really didn't want to do that. So I'm very glad he blocked. Team Urge is not an easy deck. Uh, for the comment in chat, uh, Bell, Encyclo Bell, he. Uh, he says his team urge ever easy though. You're, it is absolutely accurate that team urge is never easy. It's a real pain in the butt of a deck. <laughs> I'm having uh, Siege Dragon just uh, jumped in. He wants my Amonkhet thoughts. I, I have plenty of Amonkhet thoughts, but gotta see the card pool. I'm really curious which cards we get this time. More than usual. Uh, it's gonna be a tough one to divvy up, I think. All right. So, end of turn, return? I think it has to be. The only thing we lose is the refiner. My opponent loses a whole bunch of stuff. And then I, they're priced into blocking something. It depends what he hits off his treasure keeper. All right, here we go. Away with your things. Ooh, clutch, so clutch. Let's hope, is it a fog? Will it be fog? It will not be fog, or if it is, they left anyway. Ha <laughs> ha! Pulling it off. Whew! No, it is a fog! No! What in blazes? He left! He left, that fog, that fog couldn't have been there. That fog could not have been there when he left. The AI is cheating. The AI has gone infinite with fog. <laughs> it's the good old teleport a fog to my hand when, when you leave the game. <laughs> no, 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 it, no, no, damn it. <laughs> oh, not a death touch too. That's pretty clutch. Oh my Lord, what is, is wrong with this world okay 
breathe. I am the captain of my own starship. Um, okay. What the hell am I supposed to do? Oh, uh, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? Okay. So. Activate. That will do. Nope. I'm, a, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, maybe not. What happens if I do this? It'll become a 5-5 five, five and I can switch its power and toughness, but I can reactivate it. Maybe maybe I can bail myself out of this yet. Okay. You're a 5-5. Five, five. Okay, it's gonna go back. That's that's lame. And now I switch it for nothing. Okay. Lame. I was gonna do something cool where I swept up the board, but I shouldn't have activated this off the druid. I got too fancy. Um, now what? What's the right thing now? I guess I sweep the board <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Goodbye, fumeral. I really screwed up. All right. It's still right, though. We can't have him uh, getting so much Tusker value. It hurts. It hurts. We can't uh, play this forest either. We don't want to lose our other Nyssa. But I'm just on tilt, man. That fog. It's that freaking fog. It's got me. It's got me tilting. Yeah, I know. That's the worst. <laughs> that's among the worst plays I've ever. That like, like this turn. It's among my worst turns ever on stream. Especially for not being in the middle of the night. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm tilted. I'm tilted. I'm not gonna lie. It's that it's it doesn't even matter what I do. It's it's just I'm fog locked. I'm fog locked. I I'm I'm absolutely fog locked. There's nothing. Nothing to be said. Alright. Let's let's Do you think if I Rex Sage this that our opponent hits the fog? <laughs> what do you think? Let's let's find out. Let's let's find out. Yeah, I'd <laughs> it's just so it's just so tilted off the fog. Let's see. And we hit durable handicraft. Well, that's not bad. A guy has revenge on top of the deck. No mana to play it, of course. But he might have a revenge in hand, considering the way this has gone. All right. Give me my tokens. Um, I'm gonna swing this group. I think. In case of fog, <laughs> instead of throwing my land into the mix with this as well. Ah, God, thank God. Thank God. Jesus. The battle. Oh, the struggle is real. Eight and one. The stress I have to go through to beat a one rank Xbox with Team Merge. All right. Shake it off. Taylor Swift. Help me. Help me see the right way. Help me see the path, Taylor. Uh, all I have to do is shake, shake, shake it off. Uh-oh. <sighs> our opponent. Our opponent doesn't care where we came from. They don't care who we are. They're not going to give us any quarter because we just got fog tilted. They're going to go ham. They're going to come after us. It's the only way to. It's the only way, so we got to be ready. Got to be ready. Eight and one. We're at eight and one. It's a big deal. Getting to nine one. It's a big game. All right, let's do it. Cut Black Lotus sleeves. On the play, I can keep this. Love the Cinder Glade double uh, check land start. So one thing I wondered is if the the cards in the Deckmaster box are going to get replaced with this next update since these haven't been in like magic for like for forever. Maybe they'll give us the cycling lands and take these out. I actually think that would be bad for mana bases. So, kind of nervous about it. Uh but that's just something that came into my mind. It's not a rumor that's backed by anybody, I don't think. And definitely nothing that they've said would imply it. It's just, I had the idea, 
Oh god, it's the rancid rats. Okay. Uh, I'm going to grapple now. I really want to grapple in my graveyard so I can do this on turn four if I want to. And we do have some hits, including a pulse. Do I want land or do I want druid? I think druid's the right grab. We can play it this turn instead of the pilgrim's eye. Then we maybe next turn brawls and play the pilgrim's eye. So. It, our opponent would have to have a pretty explosive turn to require that kind of thing, but you know, you never know. Another druid off the top. How about that? <laughs> Siege dragon. To quote Lord Hilneth, I fear no army or beast, but only the morning fog. <laughs> oh, that fog flavor. Uh, Nighthawk believes that Playing around fog means I should never attack my opponent, ever. Um, so my opponent has a Death Touch Rats. He plays his Liliana, and he doesn't attack me with the rats. Interesting. What are they going for? Do we want to Barals that? Is it too early to do such shenanigans? Nah, I don't think it's going to get a ton better. And we can get it back later with Scuttles. Finish. And we could play the Druid to have more mana, but I think I'll play the Eye to get more mana efficiency from my expertise. And what land do I need? I've looked first. I actually have all kinds of lands. I usually stack up my blue mana when I can, because you never know when you have to double Deep Fiend in a turn. All right, mono black rats and Liliana deck. What else do you have in your bag of black lotus sleeved tricks? What shenanigans do you bring for me? What's in this deck, CGB? I'm glad you asked, ZZ. If you're on a browser, all you have to do is scroll down uh, under the panel that says today's featured deck and you can see the deck list. Grasp of Darkness on Druid. Good thing I've got a backup. Alright, land off the top, not great. Do we want to play a 4-5? It really doesn't hurt unless he's going to exile it. That's the only thing that can go wrong there. But I can get back the Brawls because I have another grapple, so that seems good. So yeah, why the heck not? If you're on mobile, I think that you can like swipe to the side or something and see that information as well. But I love that so many people want my deck lists and then uh, when they happen to be on mobile, they say, too much work, just tell me what's in it. <laughs> you're lucky I like you, ZZ. Um, I mean, this is the Nighthawk deck if you've been following that. The only thing I think I took out is an Ishkana. Because I'm not going to run 61 cards. So it's it's basically that. But a lot of emerging, a lot of grappling, some treasure keepers and reclamation sages and Baral's expertises. We top it off with Ulamog. Now I take one from the rats. Curses, curses I tell you. Oh, flesh bag, that's fine though. Like I said, we can grapple that back. Good. That just means we get more value. More value, more value, I say. And the rats. Our opponent likes their death touch rats. Reach out and touch me. And okay, land. That's enough land. Had quite enough of these. I think we'll grapple first, as it may affect our play. Heat Fiend is there. Scuttler is there. Rogue Refiner is there. So, we'll go with 
Kettle's chain or Deep Fiend chain? I guess we'll go with the Deep Fiend. Yeah, Deep Fiend's never bad. All right. <clears throat> Six and seven. Almost to where we can hard cast it. And we put a Chandra down there. See, in tournament, Twin Bolt would be gas right now. Well, you know, if if uh, we played this deck with Rancid Rats in tournament, a Twin Bolt would be very beautiful. I do not deny every time I see a pair of 1-1s that Twin Bolt doesn't come to mind. Um, I'm feeling low on gas, though. We have to be careful this game. Our opponent does have Lily. We have to watch out for a way for him to flip that. Of course, it goes to five, so if we keep Deep Fiend in reserve, it'll be okay. Alright, I'm trying to skip my blocking, and it's lagging up. Okay, we're good, we're good. Everything's fine. Alright, this'll set us up to play our... Ooh, hello. Cool. Now we can double Deep Fiend, buy some time to draw back into more gas. Land, what else you got? Uh-uh. Grasp his own creature. Okay, so he's going to flip. When he flips, he will plus almost certainly. When he pluses, we'll discard, I suppose, the expertise, unfortunately. And then we'll tap him down and we'll kill his lily. It'll be great. I love this plan. I'm excited to be a part of it. Let's do it! Uh, yeah, Skulk is an ability. <laughs> Too bad we're discarding the expertise here, as using it with a pair of deep feints would be very exciting, but I think it's right. I think we'd rather have our... The, the huge bodies. Our opponent just played their second grasp. I wonder if they want to discard the card in their hand. They are going to get... What the hell are they doing? Flush bag? Sure, buddy. You do that. I will definitely sacrifice this. Oh, now I can't emerge, though. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> Should have tapped it for mana. Um... I thought I had eight lands. Definitely on the punt train today. Oh well. I still don't think this is bad. It's interesting that our opponent likes the card in their hand that much and that they used a Grasp of Darkness to flip their own Liliana to uh, kill... And then they killed their own Liliana. Yeah, this whole thing is weird. Okay. I don't see anybody like that in the list. I thought maybe he looked at my hand through, through like sniping the stream and then realized his creature was going to die to Deep Fiend. Does he know about Deep Fiend? Yeah, that's what I got, right, with Grapple? That's why he did what he did. He's scared of this Deep Fiend. That's what's going on. All right. Well, I can, I can, uh, I understand. He's scared of Deep Fiend. He does know that that's what I grappled for. That's why things are so weird. But I still think that his line with the Grasp of Darkness and uh, was pretty bad. Okay, now he's going murder. Um, I'm just going to let that happen. I'm going to be really patient. I'll take the two for one, you know? I don't have to rush into this. Hit the Rogue Refiner. Put Chandra on the bottom, which I don't like. We'll have to keep that in mind. Chandra is on the bottom. Go. This is a weird game because it's card attrition-y. Like, I have a few cards and they're probably better than his, but a few good top decks, like he kills both of these with murder and we're back to square one. Um, do I want to trade? Nope, I don't want to trade. I don't like trading, not a trader. All right. Cool. Let's uh, throw a refiner at him, see if he likes it. How do you like it when Rogue Refiner comes to town? 
That much. Okay. Let's put out another keeper and see what he does. I don't feel like like we almost have the engine rolling. Yeah, the engine is probably rolling. Who am I kidding? Engine is probably rolling. We can get a bit more aggressive. Reeve Soul. Target. Sure. Let's see what we hit. Grapple. Awesome. Uh, cast. And we'll take a scuttles. Prepare to juggle. Opponent want to attack? I would love to block a zombie. Thank you. I don't see a lot of risk here. I mean, maybe he has something that gives like plus one plus oh an indestructible, or I think there was an instant like that, but I'm not afraid. Languish. Okay, that's fine. But <laughs> he basically two for one himself again. And he still hasn't dealt with these guys. So now what? Is it Scuttles? Definitely a Druid. And then we can... Yeah, we'll just pass. We'll, go, we'll throw down a Deep Fiend this turn. That'll be the play. Oath of Liliana. Never mind. We're gonna sacrifice our primal druid. He had held that for one turn, he might have snagged a deep fiend. But primal druid lives for moments like that. And now we pretty much can go find Ulamog, I think. Ah, Kira. Hello. You're pretty cool too. I'm hitting the button, thank you. <laughs> A little bit of lag going on. Uh, there's the big guy. What up, big guy? Oh, meant to accept that concession, but that's what happens. The screen just kind of flies at you while you're trying to do something else. So now we have to finish the AI to get to our beloved 9-1 record. I think the best play is to kill his swamps in case Ulamog is in that pile somewhere. Keep him from getting to it. Also we might do the uh, churn your Ulamog. Well we don't have to now. We have enough mana to hold up a deep fiend. As long as we untap a blue source. And this should be mop-up. This should be mop-up duty. What a great time uh, to talk about some Amonkhet. So, does anybody have a favorite Amonkhet card that they want to throw out there? That they really hope we get for duels? We were talking about the new Nissa. That card is so weird, I don't know quite what to make of it. Um, that's interesting. But is Liliana exciting to anybody? I'm not really sure. This seems like kind of a been there, done that planeswalker. The new Gruel guy is insane. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Hold. Hold the. Hold the. Hold on, guys. This is crazy. All right gonna throw this into chat for you if you haven't seen the link the card that I'm talking about uh, Samut 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 voice of descent go look at that that is like I didn't think that was real I read that I was like no way this can be real that is too much stuff on one card like are you kidding are you kidding 
So if you haven't seen that spoiler, please just click that link in chat really quick and then read it a few times. <laughs> it does feel like they were trying to make something with as much text as Avacyn. All right, we're just gonna try to play some mop-up duty here. Um, you can come out. Nighthawk, I was in shock when it was spoiled. Yeah, it's an Avison level of busted. Yeah, I still, like, I still can't off the top of my head, and I've been looking at the card all day. Off the top of my head, I can't tell you what the abilities are. There's too many. It. Let's let's try reading this card. I mean, are you kidding? Um, three mana, red, green. Legendary creature, human warrior, mythic. Flash. Double strike. Vigilance. Haste. Other creatures you control have haste. White mana. Tap. Untap another target creature. Three, four. Okay, that's all. <laughs> that's all. Got through it. It doesn't make Gruul good. Uh, I, I think it's pretty clearly a mid-range card, and it might... I don't know, that might be a Team Urge card, right? It kind of fits in the Team Urge shenanigan shell. It is curious, much like Avacyn. You know, when Avacyn was introduced, it was sort of a... This card must be crazy. It looks amazing. Is there a deck for it, right? And then Avacyn ended up in all kinds of decks from uh, control to aggro and everything in between. This is the kind of card that I think right now people are reading and saying, I don't know, what deck does this go in? And then they're gonna find out later, it works in a lot of things. Uh, my This Team Urge deck, it's probably got a place. Uh, the uh, Teamer Energy deck I play, it definitely has a place. Although, legendary creatures off Flame Shadow, not quite what I'm looking for, but, but, other creatures you control have haste means that when you play it, you d your flame shadow token and your original creature all have haste too. Double strike. I mean, it's five mana for basically six power. It's a three, four. This is so insane. What else would you untap? You know, whatever you want. You play this, you flash this in and it has haste. So you can use the untap ability right away. So you can have a surprise blocker of whatever size you have on the battlefield immediately. It's so bizarre. Um, if it's not good, it's like, how hard do they have to push five drops, right? How much do they have to put on it to make five drops good? Because this is a serious effort in that, in that area. I guess ZZ's had enough of me talking about things with power and toughness. He wants to talk about pull for tomor from tomorrow, and that card, I did, that card's probably too good for duels. I don't think we'll get it. They've never given us that kind of card draw. Not even close. They're like, here, have a scour of the laboratory. Redefine your format. <laughs> they they like to give us inspirations of various types. I really, I'm, I don't have my hopes anywhere for pull from tomorrow, but... If we do get it, I'll be an excited person. Okay, so this is the all green hand. It's a curve. It's two, three, four, all in green. I think we can keep it because we don't have that many more forests in our whole deck. In fact, you know, once we pull all four, I think we'll have all the force out of our deck. So our other uh, lands that we draw off the top should produce other colors, which will hopefully make this hand doable. Never mind. <laughs> oh my god. Did, I, did that really just happen? Did I really just top deck the, the last forest in the deck? We'll find out when I play Nyssa, but I think I'm... Let me see this deck list. It's right here. Six forest. Six forest. Okay. Oh, I remember. I did cut a Falls, and I cut one Fumarole for two Force each. So there are six Force in the deck. It's not the absolute, like, four-of-a-kind uh, flush draw that I thought it was. Great Blade Marauder coming down. Coming down. 
And there's a hub, thank you. Get a few colors going. We're still lacking a blue, but I have faith. I have faith. Siege Dragon is excited for Cat Tribal in Amonkhet. He'll be upset if we don't get Cat Lord. Maybe there's two Cat Lords, like an uncommon Cat Lord and the rare Cat Lord. I can't wait for my Jeskai Blink deck to include the uh, Cat Lord. <laughs> that would be very fun. Was Arlen Cord any good? Was Ulrich any good? I don't think the Gruul Legendary will be that incredible. Yeah, okay. I mean, that card is nuts. If it's not good, there's nothing they can do about five drops in red and green anymore or something. I mean, it's just got too many abilities, more than just about anything you ever encounter. So that's what I'm basing it on. If you don't think it'll be that good, then, you know, so be it. It doesn't scream, put this in deck X or deck Y, and I think that's part of the hesitation. But it's better than Arlen Cord. It just is. It's a better card than Arlen Cord. All other creatures you control have haste? Are you kidding? Arlen Cord might give one creature haste if it's on the correct side. <laughs> How about all the lands we've drawn? We haven't even played like <laughs> like three of the forests that were in our opening hand. This is so bizarre. <laughs> Arlen Cord is good in hipster elves. Yeah, I don't think that's a thing. I think those are just words you threw out there. <laughs> He's going after the Treasure Keeper. Interesting. Well, do you know what I'm going to hit off that? Yeah, I guess that is the worst hit that it could be. But it did come straight off the top. So we were going to draw it anyway. But we're way behind on the value train and facing some beats. Bring it. Back for five. I'm gonna take it. And try to buy some time. Nothing else I can do. We only have one uh we can only cast Deep Fiend. We can't chain off Deep Fiend, we just have the Aether Hub for the blue, so we might find ourselves in trouble. That's a draw. Not the greatest draw right now. Do I attack here with Nyssa? It walks into Blessed Alliance. I think I'm so far behind in value and not even close to racing that I sit back on Nyssa. Uh, Nighthawk says, I imagine that the Duel's Insight video will come out tomorrow. I doubt they'll wait till Good Friday. You would hope so. I'm with you. I mean, I hope that's the case. Let's see if he attacks. Interesting. All right. Do we go for it? I think I'm going to keep waiting. Not too worried about my life total. This isn't a ton of pressure. Just gotta wait. Just gotta be patient. Alright, flip my Nyssa. That out of the Kozlik's return fire. Plus, let's try to get some card advantage and get back in this. Or at least get ahead. That'll get me my island. So we'll play you. Do I play my Rogue Refiner? It takes Deep Fiend off the table. I think I do, because this turn I'm going to try to trade Poselec's return for pieces of his board. I think that's my plan. Now this says whenever creature and opponent controls dies. Okay. All right. I'll do it like so. We got enough mana to hard cast the Deep Fiend and hopefully flash back the Kozlex return if he rebuilds. All right, it's on. What's up? Hardy's tape comes out tomorrow. I don't know what that is. It's my favorite time of the season. We get to make fun of Chris and Drew. <laughs> Where's Mobius? I think he always would call... He would say things that I'm not going to repeat. Let me just put it that way. All right. Pretty conservative attack. That's only going to deal one to Nyssa. That's interesting. Well, I'm going to throw the Druid in front. 
We got all the red I need, so we'll go get more blue. He's gonna grow his, uh... Whatever the little vampire that could is here, but I think that's fine. Every turn that passes now is a turn on our side. Alright, vital force. How much mana? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9. So, 1, 2, 3. Play that, and then we can emerge off the druid. So that's all good. Okay. Um, I guess I'll throw the refiner at him, because if it goes to 5, that's no big deal. No, wait. I have to emerge the deep fiend. That will grow this guy. If it goes to a 6-6, six, six, the return won't work. So I have to do this and the emerge with this on the stack. Okay. So I can't attack. Got it. Got it. Hopefully he feels like playing another creature just for the lulls. Pause, please. Thank you. Um. Yes, I can make him attack. See what he does. Can't hurt. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. I can go block, block, wipe the field with just this side of the return. Yeah, with the triggers on the stack. That works. Or no, that won't work. That has four tough. I could flash in the Deep Fiend right now and block take two. Too many options. All right, one, two, three. Nope. One, two, three, four. We may not need the Kozilex return if this pans out. Yeah, I know. I put I'm like I'm overthinking a lot of things. I've got Amonkhet on the brain and I've played a few games and this 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 deck will wear you out and I'm overthinking how to handle Suntail Hawks. So thanks for bearing with me. I hope you're still having a bit of fun. I hope it's still uh, an enjoyable view for you for all you uh CGB fans out there. And let's uh, send the house. And he concedes and we'll take it. No respect for the hawk, it will be your undoing. Ha. Ten and one. Our competition was, like, we had some tough games at the start. Um, and things have leveled off a bit here in the evening. We're at 8.40 p.m. where I am. And let's let's see. You never know, though. You never know what'll, what'll jump out of the Xbox meta and bite you. Nighthawk says, Angelic Destiny into Siegecraft, then who's laughing? Question mark, question mark, question mark. I rem Siege Dragon says, I remember the episode of the Chris and Drew show, the Development Insight video, when Drew was pissed. I do not remember this. What was he angry about? Can you fill me in? Can we stroll down memory lane? Can we have a little, a little flashback? Can we cast some flashback spells? Maybe some aftermath, Siege Dragon? What what was he upset about? Do you remember? Or does anybody remember? The HHS Wrestler. Bringing it. Alright, this hand is slow and on the draw. Does that mean I can't use it? I think I should try for a better hand. This hand is fine. It is also slow but at least it has a deep fiend on four. And if that's too slow, oh well. And uh, it may be. Boom, glory chaser. Boom. That may be too slow, but if we go down that way, if we go down, then we go down together. I read that as Drew was drunk. <laughs> you thought Drew was drunk during the episode. 
Tell the chat your thought. Uh, oh god, this is it's the good old Origins ass kicking. All right, we're going to die. We're going to die way before. We've got a top deck now. Need to top deck a Reclamation Sage, but it looks like we're just going to get beat to death beat to death. Yep. It's that draw, everybody. It's that draw. This used to be like the meta in Origins. This was one of maybe four strategies, maybe five strategies you could say that worked. But here it comes. They got it. They got that draw on the play against a slow hand. Like a boss. I don't have a lot of thoughts on the gods right now. Not a ton. I'll have more later to say about stuff like that. All right. Pulse could be a saving grace here. Let's get the refiner on the battlefield. Double pulse. Interesting. Interesting. Um, do I trade this refiner? I don't think I can. I think I have to take this bump. Hopefully it doesn't kill it. Infectious bloodlust, oh god. Oh god. Okay. Um, hitting for nine. Take me to two. Yep. Okay. Dead, dead by twin bolt. I could block. But then... Okay, what happens if I block? Did he cast two spells? No, he didn't. Um... If he has a combat trick, I'm almost certainly dead. He has a twin bolt, I'm dead. If that thing gets bigger, am I dead? He has another creature, he can play the bloodlust on it next turn, and I'm dead. So I have to be able to cast this deep fiend. All right, here we go. I have to be able to play this deep fiend. And I really, really need to drop, draw a two drop in the next two turns. Okay. Oh, bitch, how do I get you in my graveyard? Um. How do I get you in my graveyard? Cast Pulse, maybe? He probably has Reprisal. They always do. Alright. Here we go. Let's get Twin Bolted. <clears throat> if he's slow rolling me, it'll hurt my pride. Just a little. Not like this. Not like this. How do I get you in the graveyard? Yeah, I know. If we didn't need one more land, right? Okay. Um, I still can't play two spells, though. So I still have to deal with that glory chaser. So... And I'm at two? Um, is that the play? No, then I'm just dead, right? He just attacks me with this thing and I die. So I do have to pulse. And I don't have another spell to play. Have to pulse. Is there anything else I can even do? There's nothing else I can do. Right? So the other line would be hit this... But I still take two, because that has Menace. Alright. Yeah, it is what it is. I don't think it's a greedy line. I think it's the only way to win. I don't think I win if I start playing a game of pulsing just a fog. Alright, here we go. You go over here. Pause. Gideon's Reproach, okay, fine. Too bad that doesn't have First Strike. And we will get back Rogue Refiner with Pulse of Marissa. Staying alive, staying alive. And now we get to... We can, and that gets rid of that creature, okay. And he can't play another spell or Call of the Full Moon falls off. Okay, we're alive. 
Now we can make Call of the Full Moon fall off and have Pulsa Marasa for the Deep Fiend. So what do we want to play? Uh, we have to play one of these two because we need to hit our land drop for this to work. So do we play Nyssa or Pilgrim's Eye? Nyssa can flip later, so I think we'll Pilgrim's Eye. What will we get? We're actually short on green. I think I'm going to Nyssa to get another four, so I have double green for next turn. I might need it. All right. <sighs> See if we can tear this one, pull this one off. All right, we have to do this on our turn. If we don't do it on our turn, the Call of the Full Moon won't fall off. We know he has Bloodlust, but he'll need more than Bloodlust to kill us. He doesn't play the Bloodlust. He did have it. Yeah, he did search it. I'm absolutely sure he did. So what is he doing? He's got something bigger. He's got Gideon. Okay. Not that scary when you have a Deep Fiend. Right? And uh, Nissa lived. Hallelujah. Something off is either Rogue Refiner or Pilgrim's Eye. I think it's going to be Pilgrim's Eye. Can we cause return and trigger Deep Fiend? No. Not right now, but we can sweep his two creatures after we flip Nyssa. That good? We still have to tap down that Gideon. Or block it. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Is that better than playing Deep Fiend? I don't like chumping Gideon. There's too much that can go wrong. I'd rather play Deep Fiend. But then I lose the chance to Kozilex return later. What about if I did this? I guess that depends on why I hit with Nyssa. So let's flip Nyssa first. And if we hit a land, we can Fumarole, kill um, Gideon. Yeah, okay. Show me an untapped land. Nope, but that's pretty good. But it doesn't let me hold up Deep Fiend. So, okay. More blue. I'm always setting up the blue. Sorry if I'm not paying too much attention at the moment, trying to make this work out. Not staring at chat as much as I'd like to. Land for turn. You can activate that Gideon. Chandra, whoo! Okay, what's he gonna do? Gideon is making a knight, perfect. Okay, this is great. So he's got his guys and Two, three, four. Yep. I think I want to cause Alex return. And then Deep Fiend can go next turn. He gets to have two Planeswalkers. That's not amazing, but I get to snipe one with Fumarole. But then that doesn't let me do the other things I want to do. That's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need two turns. Uh, Deep Fiend can buy me a turn, and then I need to draw land. Hit me with a land, please. Grapple. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. If Grapple had, if there's an untapped land, otherwise we can grapple for Pilgrim's Eye, one, two, three, four, five, and have four mana up. Okay, that works. <sighs> All right. No land. So we're going to have to take the line with the Pilgrim's Eye. Do I have two blue there? Yes, we do. This also gets us a land closer to Ulamog. I'm going to take the green. Wait a minute, I can't... Shit, I played a land. Shit. 
Did I just lose? One, two, three, four, five. No, I'm not quite dead. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I am dead if he does the if he puts infectious bloodlust on Gideon and sweeps the board with Chandra. I'm dead. Nothing I can do about that. I screwed up. All right, not like this. Ah, I've been playing this too long. Been playing too long. I don't remember. I don't remember playing my land. I really don't. God, that's silly. Let's see if our opponent sees the win. Put the controller down. Observe what happens. Interesting. Okay. Is he going to use Chandra here? Is he going to clear the board? No, he's going up. Going up. Ah, okay. <laughs> he's going after Nyssa. He's going all at Nyssa. Wow. Okay. Um, Nyssa dies. <laughs> I am fine with Nyssa dying. Opponent chooses to go after the Planeswalker. I think they had a lethal line. It wasn't the most straightforward line. Not something I think everybody would come up with. All right. There's my Chandra. And one off of Ulamog. Is there a way I can make sure I draw a land? I guess I can grapple for one. I'm going to emerge off one of these. And I'm going to wipe the board, so I may as well attack. I also may just pay 8 to emerge. Maybe I'm supposed to play the Keeper. Maybe I'm supposed to kill the Bloodlust. Yeah, that makes sense. So he can't just... his next thing won't have haste. What about Baral's Expertise? I can take out Gideon. 1, 2, 3, for 5. I can't activate Fumarole. But this does get a treasure keeper into play, and then I can emerge off it. That's really gross. Okay. You and you. And that also gets rid of the bloodlust. Let's go ahead and kill Gideon. Why are your opponents insane today, says Nighthawk. Zizi says the line was obvious. I'm not convinced, but I would do it. <laughs> the newer players don't seem to think before they start playing cards. Yeah, uh, often you're just excited to play cards in the first place. So... That's not too surprising. All right, so he wipes the board. We hit this druid. Bruna. The hell? Uh, good thing Ulamog is on the way. Bruna's going to get back a Topin Freeblade. And the last card in his hand is the Double Striker, the Oasis Champion. All right. Untap land, please. Here we go. You and you. See if he has an Act of Treason off the top. Trigger the return. Throw that on the battlefield. <laughs> the turn one glory chaser, turn two call of the full moon deck. That also drew Gideon and Chandra and curved all the way up to Bruna the Fading Light. Yeah, that's, that's what we ran into and we pulled it off. gotta close man you gotta learn how to close it's very 
a big part of magic if you don't do it well as I failed to do earlier. It's, it feels bad. 11 and 1. We're going for the tie for first place. We're attempting to tie the first place deck, which is Yonder and his Demir uh, mid range deck. Roachman says easy. <laughs> I hope you weren't implying that that game was easy. From my my side, and I even screwed up. I made a really big mistake, so it's not even clear that I deserved that win. But my opponent had a an opportunity for lethal. Uh, it's always amazing when you know on the draw your opponent can cur in curve or at least have interesting plays one drop through seven drop that that always that's always uh it's like living the dream it's like watching poetry in motion <laughs> all right we are waiting waiting for players to join the match if this times out i think i have to beat the ai but that still counts it's all part of the all part of the record. If Yonder is out there biting his nails, hoping his deck and his 12 and two record don't get tied by the team merge monster. <laughs> yep. I don't know if this is gonna work. Tick tock. If the game crashes, I'll be back in the future. And it looks like we're just being booted back out. Okay, let's go try again. Tales of the Batman is here, and he chimes in with, The lack of boobies is concerning. <laughs> well, we all have our concerns. We all have our concerns. All right, we're going for it. This is to tie the current record in the quest for the best. The game after would be to break the record. This will probably uh, be my outro to this season. This um, Aether Revolt season is trying to get through the decks that I have and put them in this quest for the best series and see what happens. And it's... Um, this person has beaten me before. I remember this. I remember this person. I have lost to this guy. All right. So this is a grudge match for the record, and I am definitely keeping this hand. It doesn't have a top end, but it has a lot going on. Yeah, 80 card deck. I have lost to this. I remember. I remember the games. Let's just say it wasn't my finest hour. But we are here for revenge. Come on, give me a planeswalker. Give me give me something awesome to ramp into off the top. Opponent contemplating options. They have a planes. They did not have a turn one Suntail Hawk. What do they have? What will it be? A forest and a pass of the turn. Okay, that's another land. That is not what I'm really looking for. So do I send in my Druid? I think there's a decent chance of a Gideon's Reproach or a Blessed Alliance, but I'm not going to play around it. We have plenty of mana sources and no top end at the moment. See what happens. Druid connects. One damage. Rogue Refiner, please don't. I don't need more land. I don't. Cool. Perfect. <laughs> These are not the Druids you are looking for. <laughs> well said, Tails. 
Uh, I said tails. What? Well said, Batman, is what I mean. These are not the druids you are looking for. Human rogue over there. Of course he's a rogue. Is there a rogue theme? Rogue tribal somewhere? All right. Once more into the fray. Our opponent now has black mana. Are they going to turn out to be a planeswalker deck after all? And let's go ahead and get the other blue out and treasure keeps. Even languish, I would at least get my treasure keeper activation. I'm going to strongly consider Rex saging my own treasure keeper if I don't draw gas. Because then at least uh, something like a Pulse of Marasa is a two for one or a. Um... Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> well, their first play of the game is a mythic one. Oh boy. Oh boy. What to do? Hmm. Do I want to wreck Sage my own treasure keeper here? I think I give him a turn and see what he does. See his next play. So I will deploy the druid and I'll deploy the other druid. And we'll be on druid tribal. And we'll play the land, but we are low on action. If the opponent wants to attack with Gisela, we can sort of counter race. He can deal four, gain four, but we can attack for eight. But it's like we've almost deployed our whole hand and our opponent is ruling the board with one card. That is not where you want to be. Red mana, we've got four colors. Four color mythics, 80 card deck. I wonder if this is the deck that beat us last time. Is this a rematch? Is he the Emeria Shepherd Planeswalker deck? I don't remember that being 80 cards. He's rank one for God's sakes. Maybe he just wins one game for like every six that he loses. Oh my goodness, this is bad. Am I supposed to say go? I mean, there isn't a ton I can wreck Sage into, but is it better than just saying go? If I wreck Sage into a grapple with the past, a pulse, or anything like that, it's just kind of some wheel spinning. But a grapple gets me closer, a rogue refiner draws me a card. Patience. I think I have to wait another turn. I think I just have to wait another turn. I don't like attacking with the treasure finder. It doesn't trade here. It just gives him four life. All right. See, that's fine. Didn't hit something else. All right. Let's see what we get. Yuck. Worst possible on this board. Worst possible. That's too bad. Cast, please. Why isn't it letting me cast? There we go. But this way I didn't give him four life, you see what I mean? So he killed it, but I didn't give him four life to his Gisela. Okay, what's going on? What's going on? Why is my druid in the air? What is happening? Am I being hacked? What the heck? Uh, guys. All right, well, now we're just trying to live for an Ulamog off the top. What is going on? <laughs> Anybody seen this before? Can we get to it? Is it in, is it in some other realm of play? Chandra? <laughs> we need Ulamog. We just have to draw an Ulamog. That's all there is to this. That's all there is to this. Ulamog. 
I think I want to shuffle. There's a Brawl's Expertise. That wouldn't be the worst draw. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so can I block with it? I can't... I can't block. I can't block. It's not... Wait, hold on. What? Okay. Well, uh... Okay. And I can't get back to it. Well, I may as well block with it, right? Okay. <laughs> this is really... This is really special. I don't know what's happening. And it... Wait, what? Oh, okay. It's still there. It's still there. It's not in the graveyard. Is it indestructible? Nope, it's in the graveyard. Okay, we did it. We did it. We put it back where it belongs. <laughs> Man, if you guys could have been here over my shoulder seeing me mess with my controller, all the, like, just clicking on the on the directional pad to try to get to it. That's pretty, pretty maddening. I thought for a second it might be indestructible. I wonder what my opponent sees right now. All right, Ulamog, hit me one time. <sighs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So blocks with the Druids are on the table. Uh, I think, I mean, what did we do? We kept a hand. It was land, land, druid of the cowl, primal druid, rogue refiner, treasure keeper, land. So since then, all we've done, no, the wreck sage was in there. So all we've drawn is we drew one druid of the cowl and uh, we got the other one off of treasure keeper. Every other draw has been land. Talk about looking over your shoulders. What happened in the face cam? The face cam was lagging the stream. There was nothing I could really do uh, with the face cam. At We got to a point where it was just too much lag. All right, we're just gonna block and draw Ulamog. End of story. Because I don't need to emerge anything, right? Although if I draw... Well, I could draw a Scuttler. If I draw a Scuttler, I can get back nothing, right? I don't have any spells. Never mind. <sighs> okay. Awesome. This game is amazing. All right. One more land for maximum tilt. Yeah, that's right. Ooh. Well, this sucks. Um... Maybe that was a reason to keep a blocker? I can kill his Chandra, but then I'm dead. Or I can wipe the field, and then I'm not dead. So I guess we choose not dead. And I'm not going to hold my last land. There's too many things that are mana intensive in this deck. That was late. The weird thing that crosses my mind in those situations is that maybe he'll attack the Planeswalker instead of my face. So that's why I think about lines that would leave me dead anyway. Ah. Uh. Going to two. Ulamog. Ulamog, one time. Or Elder Deep Fiend drawing Ulamog. That would be fine too. Ulamog. Yep. All right. It is a sad, rather weird ending to the Team Urge's title run. For the second time, we get dethroned by the 80-card fat stack of uh, Ava Siavez's. And uh, this time, I don't think there was much that could be done about it. 
<laughs> oh, it was him. Yep. Yep, that's right. It's 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 the it's Mr. Taunt Button himself. He loves sh he okay, so he beat me once, completely mana screwed. And this time, completely mana flooded, and both times sniped. <laughs> Uh, one of the greatest assholes of duels, but at least he's he seems to have a, a good sense of humor about it. It's actually pretty funny, so. Oh yeah, dude, did you see the bug? Uh, Eva, did you see the bug? He only wins the game he plays against me. Yeah, that seems to be the truth. Hey, it helps to know your opponent's hand. But uh, yeah, the first time in completely mana screwed like we were stuck on two lands forever against him and this, this time all we did was draw land uh all right team merge you couldn't do it he comes up one short yonder is dancing somewhere because demerge is still the first place holder team merge is second place 11 and 2 11 and 2 so we're gonna make it immortal we're gonna throw it into the feed and that's the way it is. And our new end boss is Ava. Ava and uh, Ava Acives. However you want to say it. Ava Cives. Ava Cives is the end boss of duels, ladies and gentlemen, with the 80 card, one rank fat stack. For the second time, he has retired a worthy deck. For the second time. So, oh, bravo. All right. Well, that's the end of Team Urge for the season. The deck now uh, has to go. The the deck now has to go down. So everybody get sad for a second. It's going to be a very sad moment. But here we go. Dun 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 ba bum bum bum. <sighs> I think I just cried a little. I love the deck so much. Don't worry. Don't worry. We will be rebuilding it when the next set comes out. We almost, pretty much for the rest of Duel's history, we'll probably try a team merge variant at some point. And, and, Nighthawk will carry on its legacy. Nighthawk will carry on the legacy. What's next? What is next is a great question. So who's still on the docket? We've got a green-white token deck, which is kind of an evolution of a displacer deck I really like. We've got salty tokens, which is based on the Mobius tokens list. Mardu Midroom, you remember this. Uh, something very similar to it I played in tournament. Abzan, like big mythic Abzan cards. Grixis Planeswalkers. We've got uh, a mill deck, because why the hell not? We've got an Esper control deck because Divin Vert, Vert, or I'm sorry, just Divine Vert. I'm sorry, just Vert would it, uh, insist that this be represented. We've got, got the Godzilla deck, the Nighthawk, a big green combo. We've got my Teamer energy deck, which is an absolute blast. We've got a green black mid rangey controly mythic pile. We've got a Bant tempo deck that Gemini would be proud of. We have Mardu Aggro. Well, actually, it's Boros Aggro with just Grounder as the Mardu part. So this is the super low-to-the-ground quick vehicles. And we've got my Is It Control deck, and that's what's on the docket. Hopefully, we'll get to it before, through all of it before the 26th. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 decks. 13 decks. I don't know if I can bear playing another Nighthawk deck tonight. We've got votes for Mono Green, but I just don't think I can do it. I really don't think I can do it. I can't bear to see another one lose. I can't. I can't handle it. It would be too emotional. So, um, let's see. What to start with? I think I'm just gonna grab some green-white tokens. I don't think I want to do a control deck. I'm kind of burnt. I need to play something that sort of drives itself and isn't too difficult to pilot. So control isn't best right now, and I want to save Godzilla. So we're just gonna go right down the list. So let me just add my green-white deck to my uh, description here. 
You guys will just be patient. You gotta keep watching. We'll get to it. And they, they, there's a lot of votes for Godzilla right now. All right. Just got to be quiet and type for a minute. Sorry, sorry about that. But if I don't do it, people will ask, where is the deck list all day? And this is really like a green-white vehicle deck. You can probably see that. So it's, uh, we haven't played the vehicles, I don't think, yet on ladder since, not since a couple of them were in the Demir Yonder deck, which wasn't, uh, wasn't what I would call a serious vehicle deck. And vehicles are, uh, the meta on top of, uh, that it just kind of lords over this format most of the time. I can't believe we might get our fourth Nissa in duels. Four of them. And our third Gideon. Getting, it's getting real, you know? Things are just getting real. <laughs> Alright, submit that. Here's our new uh here's our new deck. Um Gemini thinks that Snake is better. I have not been impressed by snakes this season. But boys won the finals, so what do I know? Maybe that's a personal preference. I just never seem to curve out with Snake the way I need to, no matter how much I try. What we need are X spells that break the game. Gotta squeeze Decimator into there. Hmm. Sarcastic face. Ah, now I understand. More rotted hulks, says ZZ. The guy is impossible to please. And let's see if we can get out of here with a win. I'm really just hoping to go 1-0 and oh and then retire for the evening. So, uh, yeah, bear with me. Cheer me on. We've got Jace hanging out in what I usually use as my Mardu background. And it's uh, Dorian Evil. I have played this person before. I certainly have. And all Greenlands. But we have a curve. This is the kind of hand I, I keep hands like these. There's just, I don't know. It also seems like I draw a lot of force off the top, but usually the three land four spell ratio is a very friendly one. Maybe that's too loose since we have a free mulligan. Maybe. Swamp for the opponent. Bring forth my scrounger. We may never draw planes, D-Man. He says he never draws planes in that situation, and I, I, re I understand. Maybe we won't, but maybe we will. Uh, in fact, the planes right here would be great, so I don't have to play Tireless Tracker. Or decide about playing Tireless Tracker. Blue black. Blue on black. Here's on a river. Push on a shove. 
don't mean much. Alright, that's sad. Get in there. Okay, pause nothing. Probably means removal spell. So I'm gonna wait on tracker. If we can draw land off the top. Disperse. Well, that's something. There's something you don't see every day. I'm actually pretty happy about that. Let's see, how many white sources are there since you brought up the doing the math? Um, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 16. And Brawl is on the table. And no land off the top. Uh, we haven't not just drawn a white land. We haven't not we haven't drawn any land is the problem right now. Yeah, you're gonna push that too, huh? Okay. Two spells in the bank to take care of the scrounger. Just need to buy time. Our opponent though plays a planeswalker or something, the game will get far away from us very quickly. But if he can't if he can't punish us quickly, we just have to buy time. And no attack. Confused. There's our planes. Alright. Now what do we do? I feel like this could get countered in this spot. And if we put the planes out, well. We can go we can try to go tracker planes toolcraft. If he counters tracker, what do we have left over? But that's such a high reward play. You know what I mean? Because uh, then we'd have a clue and a tool craft. It's a very high reward play. The other option is Thalia. I don't think he has to counter Thalia. Let's see if he flinches. He does not. Let's go for it. Tick-tock. Resolves. Cool. I needed that clue. <laughs> now it dies? Yep. Murder it is. Fine. Okay. You're gonna telling time too. Well. I hope you I hope you put something on the bottom that would kill this tool craft, and that will be your punishment for telling time too quickly. All right, now let's top deck th the other planes. <laughs> Our opponent is stuck on lands. Mm, that will probably get fixed right here, right now. <laughs> Telling time, <laughs> Nighthawk says Gemini's alt account confirmed, if you know. Gemini, we make fun of him for putting Telling Time in every deck. So, oh, little inside fun and games there. And no land! Uh-oh, our opponent seems a little stuck, unless they're slow rolling us. Could attack me with Brawl. Will not attack me with Brawl. Perhaps making sure I don't crack the clue first. There is the... Oh boy! What do we do? I need help, chat. Does Gear Hulk go ham? Does Angel go wide? Does Gideon hit the board? Oh my goodness. What's the play? What's the play? This is really tough. So, Brawl makes me think no languish, which makes me want to play Angel. That crazy? But then Angel's kind of invalid. No, because then we follow it with Gear Hulk. I was going to say the Angel tokens are invalidated by Brawl. But then if he kills the Angel and then I play Gear Hulk and pump my tokens, they're not invalidated. Gideon is impossible for Blue Black to deal with. But we can play Gideon later. We don't need him right now. We can definitely play him later at like a more mana efficient moment. So I don't think that now is Gideon time. He's got ex Gideon because he's got expertise or a sweeper. But see, if he sweeps, he sweeps his own Baral. All right, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna trust you guys and say Gideon. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna attack with this first. Pause. Unsubstantiate. Okay, whatever we did wasn't gonna happen. And now he knows about Gideon. Yep, would have unsubstantiated any of our plays. But really, that's fine. He's kind of... He's stuck on land. He's got some Baral tempo that he can gain, but... Like, my cards are powerful. I don't want to go one for one with him as long as, long as they resolve. Okay, he's going to Fatal Push now. That's weird. That kind of weirds me out. Let's see if he wants to attack this time. He's got only one energy, so if he has a counter, let's draw it out, right? Um, okay. So now that makes it possible for me to Gideon and Clue. So now do we Gideon? Now that he uh, might have a counter? I think now I play Angel. Or maybe I just play Thalia and crack my clue? God, this is tough. If he's holding up a counter, I just want to see what he does. Um, what a good game, though. It's a tough one. All right. Um, I'm gonna angel. There's the pause. Oh, and there's the counter. And we used his energy, so that's fine. And he gets a loot. Let's see what he picks. He throws away another Baral. All right, makes sense. And he found a land. That's probably a big deal. And now he's attacking? I wonder what took so long. All right. He knows about Gids. Um, let's... Try a Thalia, see if it resolves, and a Copter. I would rather he countered Thalia. Let's see. Gatter and Awaken, I guess? kind of getting I, I'm really surprised he would go there if we had the land he would get punished by Gideon here but I guess he'd have attackers we're losing the board a little bit so we have to be careful but he's at 12 through all this how did he get to 12 I guess we punched him with toolcraft he did read the bones look at all that stuff he's cast all right definitely no cakewalk on this one but he's to two cards, we're to two cards. Are his two cards good? Are they better than mine? All right, seven mana. Well, I want to crack this first, no matter what. Because we can only play one. See what we get. Okay. That's interesting. That means we can definitely crew copter next turn. We play Gideon, we can... <sighs> hmm. I think we let Gideon get countered here. Or do we put out an 8-8? Eight eight? Big old murder target. That doesn't do much. But it's the most mana efficient. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to Gear Hulk. Another pause. 
How's it gonna be? Insidious Will. He's still got counters for days. All right. So many. And he does not loot, so I think he's holding another counter. That's a problem. Or he's holding a way to deal with Copter. I wonder if this game will come down to those attacks he didn't make with Baral. I really like having those life points right now. Oh my. Alright, um... Make him have another counter? Or, make him have a kill spell? What's more likely right now? Let's look at, let's look at what's down here. He's already tossed Unsubstantiate and Disperse, Broken Concentration, Scatter, Will. And he runs Fatal Push, Murder, Fatal Push. No Grasp of Darkness. We know the cards in hand are good, or he wouldn't have kept them. We can't do two things. We can only do one. I think we try for... Mm, it's really tough. I think we try for Skyship. If he counters it, then maybe we can draw something that we can play with Gideon next turn. If he flinches, he does not. See what happens now. If you've got a counter, you just play that. Okay, unsub. Fine. I'm gonna play this out so we can play both next turn if we draw another land. We're gonna go to seven. Which, you know, life total gets low enough, it does affect our ability to use our Abbey. The unsub means he does not have another counter. At least not right now. But he could have drawn one as he passes the turn. There's the land. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. So we can do both. Which do I want more? Probably the ship. But he knows about the Gideon, and he knows about the ship. The Gideon crews copter right now. Um, and it's so hard to answer. Which is more valuable, guys? I really want, I want your opinion on this. So I'm going to go for Gideon, because I think the ship is more valuable. Resolves. You think he has, uh, let's make a, let's make a knight. Let's see. Okay. Now if he has a way to, so what I was worried about is if he had a way to kill the token, he could just attack and kill Gideon. So I really wanted this to resolve more, but then I was worried that he might have a spell shrivel. Uh, Gideon, because you have no way to crew your vehicles. Yes, I do. I have Westvale Abbey. Uh, why not both? It's definitely both. The question was sequencing. If he's going to, if he has another counter spell, and he's had a lot of them, uh, which one do I want to get countered? Right? If he top decked a counter spell in that spot, that was the question. So Gideon is less, and then somebody just says Gideon. Oh, Disciple. Oh boy. Oh boy, shit just got real. Alright. Um, let's see what happens here. Interesting. <clears throat> Does he have enough mana? Kill me. Don't think so. I think we just have to flood the board. If 
fatal push. Yep. Oh, good draw. The top decks take inventory for two. Does the top deck take inventory for three? Tap land. See if he tries to go for lethal here. Goes for Gideon. Okay. We're playing chicken. You're going to give it trample too? <laughs> yeah, those like three, I think there were three attacks he could have made with his chief of uh, compliance there. And I think those really matter right now a lot. Uh, a to. Making knights is the only way. This placer is a big draw if he can't kill it. He's only got one card. It could be a land. No, I think I'm, I'm thinking about throwing some creatures at him, but it just it doesn't seem wise in the face of disciple. Compelling deterrence. Wow, what a pain in the ass. Um, there's nothing to blink. No, you're good. It's cool, dude. Now he can try to tap down some things. He can tap down three. But I can still... Then I can make a token with Abby, and he wins? That's really too bad. He didn't tap anything down, though. Wow. He didn't tap anything down. Through Sky Sovereign and Blink it. Uh, unfortunately, he can just plus his Disciple a few times. Or else that would be a really good call. Let's see if he can get through everything and still pump his guy. He needs to pump for two and tap one, two, three, four, five. Okay. He might be able to do it. It's really close. Needs to tap three more. And then I have to pay a life for the Abbey. Yeah, I think he's got it if he attacks correct. But let's put it to him. Make him do it. He might overpause. If he overpauses, <laughs> it will be very sad for him. But he's going for it. No, I think I lit. I go to five. He can four and five. Yeah, it's exact Cs. And that deterrence was perfect. All right.
attacking Gideon. He's attacking Gideon. It's too bad I can't Ormondal. Attacking Gideon, you guys. Why? Why is he attacking Gideon? I think he's just crack back dead? No, he's not. Not with Gideon dead. But Miss. Miss Lethal. Miss Lethal. And now the double Sky Sovereign does work. How do I get his last mana out of him? Let's see. I can activate this, he taps it. I can activate this, make Ormondal. One, two, three, four, five. That's lethal. That's lethal. I think I've got this. Here comes the pause. He can tap down the Sky Sovereign. And I can activate Copter, and I can attack with Copter and Ormondal. There is also another way where I could do the blink thing, but I don't think that will be necessary. But I will make sure I do hit lethal. One, two, three, four... Five. Oh my god. Well, take that, Disciple of the Ring. Ugh. Although, in fairness, I deserve to lose. In fairness. But, once again, those planeswalkers, they make people uh, feel that Tunnel vision. It's double vision, but you get me. Holy cow. What a game. What a day. Hope you guys enjoyed. All right. I'm getting out of here. Going to drop this mic hard. And um, I will see you. And uh, thank you very much for hanging out with me today. I hope it was fun. More congrats to Nighthawk on my way out because I'm so happy for him. Thanks to everybody who hung out. And I'm going to go shut my eyes and take a nap. <laughs> All right, everyone. See you later.